Hello everyone, I have a PO420 code that is catalytic efficiency below threshold on my 2003 Corolla. The engine used to burn oil and I fixed the oil burn but the code could not go away. I tried everything, nothing worked. So the car barely, very barely passed emission but the code could not go away and the engine has very, very low power. And uh, when I was reading around, I saw some people successfully in cleaning their catalytic converter with acid, and they mentioned a research. So I looked for the research, found the research. The research was made back in 2006 somewhere in Europe, some universities were there. So according to this research, through time, every engine's exhaust gas has contaminants in it. These contaminants come from oil additives and fuel additives, and uh, even the engine material itself. And through time, these contaminants tend to accumulate on catalyzing surfaces and uh, at the exhaust entrance and deteriorating the function of the catalytic converter. And they say uh, uh, it's possible to clean these contaminants with the help of weak organic acids, namely citric acid and oxalic acid, at 0 0.1 molarity and 120 degree Fahrenheit plus temperature. And mixing the two solution works best. So here is what they did in this experiment. They took, they set up some laboratory setup, a complicated one actually, and uh, here is a simple form of it. They s had a pump, a heater somewhere, and uh, the, ca the deteriorated catalytic converter sample they took. And they continuously pumped the heated solution at 50 degrees centigrade or 122 degrees Fahrenheit, continuously pumped and recirculated the solution over the contaminated catalytic converter sample. and. Uh, they after one hour after they did that for one hour they replaced the solution and they did it for another hour and uh, they took it out and analyzed it and they found out that it removed 80 plus percent of the contaminants they say these contaminants are compounds of phosphorus sulfur lead zinc silicon iron copper and nickel and uh, these contaminants happen in every engine but if an engine is burning oil it makes more of these contaminants and it also adds a carb deposit especially at the exhaust entrance end so here is what i'm planning to do i'm going to prepare 0 0.1 molar solution of each mix it together and heat it 250 to 160 degree fahrenheit and uh, keep the catalytic converter in it for four to eight hours and flush it every half hour to one hour so i increase the temperature and the duration to make up for the flow because they continuously pumped and flow the solution over the sample but I can't flow that so the only thing I could do is just increase the temperature and the duration for that so the materials needed I needed a pot obviously to immerse the car in it heat source uh, it's preferable to use propane burner and uh, you can use any electric heater too so it's not advised to do it in the kitchen because the fumes that come out of this solution is are very irritating and the oxalic acid is considered uh, poisonous. I used distilled water to keep it as clean, as pure, and as scientific as possible. And I used citric acid powder. And I couldn't find the reagent grade or purified form. I just used the food grade and uh, I used the anhydrous form of this citric acid powder. It is a f powder form. I got it from uh, eBay. And uh, oxalic acid powder again. Uh, the, fortunately, this one I got the um, reagent grade or purified form that's 99.8 percent pure so I bo I got both of them uh, from Ivy. so when you use these powdered forms of these acids it is very easy to prepare so they are super it's a the powder form makes it super easy to prepare the only thing you need is just a, a scale to measure gram so uh, I tried to write down the preparation process so these, uh, uh, these pow powders, the acid powders, can come in hydrated and anhydrous forms. So uh, these hydrated and hydrous forms have different molar mass. So it is, uh, in this case, I used both anhydrous forms. So if you use the hydrated form, uh, your calculation is going to be a little bit different because the molar mass is different. So just follow, find out the molar mass first. So. Uh, I tried to write down how to prepare. If that looks complicated, here are the two numbers to keep in mind. For citric acid, for anhydrous citric acid powder, 
90.2 gram of anhydride citric acid powder dissolved in 1 liter of distilled water will give you 0.1 molar solution. For oxalic acid, 9 grams of anhydride oxalic acid powder dissolved in 1 liter of distilled water will give you 0.1 molar solution. As simple as that. So, in short, for citric acid, 19.2 gram per liter. For oxalic acid, 9 gram per liter. As simple as that. Very, very easy. So, I got the pot used. I used the pot. I cleaned it and washed it really, really good. And uh, I pre-measured how much I'm going to prepare and marked it. And uh, filled it to that mark with uh, distilled water. I'm planning to prepare about 70 liters. That's deep enough to immerse the cat. And uh, uh, then I added uh, the acid to the water powders very easy so this is citric acid citric acid 19.2 gram for one liter so for 17 liter 19.2 times 17 326 gram for oxalic acid uh, 9 gram for one liter so for 17 liter 9 times 17 153 gram of oxalic acid so I put both uh, powders in the same solution and stirred it until it completely dissolved and start the heating process. So I start the heat. While it's heating up, I took out the catalytic converter. So this technique needs removal of the catalytic converter. So my catalytic converter was uh, uh, welded at the end of a seven and a half feet tall exhaust pipe. And the, and uh, fortunately, that's the cut section at the end. So the solution was deep enough to immerse that cut section. And uh, when the temperature of the solution was close to 130 degrees Fahrenheit, I put the catalytic converter inside the solution and started the process. And after uh, cooking it for one hour, uh, there are some holes opening at the right lower corner, but nothing much. It's too early to say anything. So as you see, this catalytic converter looks clogged up. So I just flushed it, put it back. And uh, control the temperature not to exceed 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I kept it between 150 and 160. So while it is cooking, I kept moving the catalytic converter inside the solution because they say the cleaning effect of this solution depends on concentration, temperature, and the flow of the solution. So uh, the concentration and the temperature is good in this case, but I can't flow the solution. So the only thing that I could do is uh, move the catalytic converter inside the solution to simulate the flow. Second hour, sorry I didn't film it, I just took it out, flushed it, put it back. Nothing significant happened. And I kept moving the catalytic converter inside the solution. Just pull it out, put it back, pull it out, put it back. Third hour, this is the time I saw significant removal of uh, contaminants. As you see, that dark patch at the lower, the lower right corner, that is a cleaned area. The rest, light gray that covers the entire surface, that's a deposit, believe it or not. That is what happens when an engine is burning oil and uh, there is a huge exhaust entrance and deposit. That is what is called in exhaust entrance and deposit. So this deposit was uh, well softened by the acid. So I took just medium strength uh, nylon brush and brushed it sideways and uh, pushed the, uh, the, the uh, brush into the holes to, to open up the holes and it came off like mud it was so easy to brush it off and i brushed it sideways and i pushed the brush into the holes too and then flushed it from the back you don't want this gunk into your catalytic converter after i brushed it and flushed it take a look how open it is so this was the problem of my catalytic converter and uh, when I brushed it, it turned into like dark gray, muddy stuff. So the car passed the mission. That means the catalyst inside works okay. Uh, but uh, it was uh, the exhaust in trans and was uh, really, really uh, clogged up. That's why the car was losing power. So after I put it back for another hour. So after uh, cooking it for 
four hours I flashed it really good and uh, I shut this one in the sun sorry so it's too bright and uh, I took it I checked it it looks way open I decided to stop and I dried it this is what it looked like after I dried it and it was fortunately it was summer and here is a before and after comparison and it looked way cleaner I decided to stop here so I, then I put it back on the car and uh, we'll see if this technique works hello everyone this is an update on my catalytic converter acid wash I did like three months ago uh, I drove it about 2500 miles now and uh, cleared the code and the code never came back So as you have seen, my problem was the car was burning oil and the uh, oil burn caused uh, uh, a carb deposit on the exhaust entrance end and it was kind of clogged up. So the duration of my cleaning uh, cut to sh uh, four hours because I was uh, able to access the exhaust entrance end and manually clean it. But this is not true in uh, a whole lot of different kinds of catalytic converters. So uh, if manual cleaning is impossible what you need to do is just you have to increase the duration of the cleaning so and another important thing is just keep flushing every 30 minutes to an hour and the effect and uh, when you flush do not use very high uh, pressure uh, water use just a regular garden hose pressure and the effectiveness of this technique depends on how badly your catalytic converter is damaged if it is physically damaged or if it is melted inside due to high temperature inside the cut that this kind of technique is not going to help them. So this technique helps for contaminant deposit on the catalyzing surfaces and at the exhaust entrance end. That means a deposit at the exhaust entrance end means that means a catalytic converter is clogged up. And uh, these catalytic converters come in a whole lot of varieties of shapes. Some of them are welded in between a long pipe. So some of them are at the end of a pipe. So they come all in all kinds of shapes. So if they are not accessible manually, you need to what you need to do to increase the duration of the cleaning. Uh, I have seen some people did it for six hours, seven hours, even eight hours. So another a good advice if uh, possible is just get enough of the acid powder and uh, replace the solution halfway into the project that cleans even better good luck